Doctors at UCSD School of Medicine are innovating the way they detect COVID-19, all in an effort to keep learning in person. They're testing the wastewater. Yes, you heard that right. Wastewater on campus and pinpointing any positive cases down to the building to stop an outbreak in its tracks. It's effective. News 8's Kirsten Holmes takes us inside within reason. We know it's dinner time, but she's going to show us how it works. It's just not feasible to have everyone test every single day. And this sort of passive surveillance gives them a mental peace. Smoothie Karthikeyan is a postdoctoral researcher at UCSD School of Medicine. She's one of the doctors behind the wastewater collection on campus to test for COVID-19. Having a handle on how the infection levels are by testing sewage is much easier, especially in communities where clinical testing is limited, but their prevalence rates are high. This machine collects the sample and then doctors can isolate whether or not one person is asymptomatic in that building for COVID-19. So it's programmed to pick up wastewater every 10 to 15 minutes, and it has a bottle inside where it stores the wastewater collected over a 24 hour period. And every day we bring these back to our lab here on campus. We push it to an interactive map, which has all the buildings in UCSD campus. And it gets updated every day. So if you see red, it means it's positive. If it's blue, it's negative. All the residents of that building will be alerted via email saying this building is a potential source of uh, wastewater positive, please test as soon as you can. Smoothie says screening wastewater can stop an outbreak in its tracks, and it's not just for residential buildings on campus. If you or someone used the bathroom in this building between um, this time to this time, please get tested. All they do is walk to the bottom of their dorm or residence building, and you will see a self-test COVID vending machine, and then you drop it off here. It saves a lot of um, time getting an appointment, standing in lines to get tested. This is right in the building. And because they're using already existing infrastructure with robots taking the samples, not only are they catching positive cases, they're cutting down the wait time with testing and getting results back in mere hours. It enabled early detection of 85% of all on-campus cases. So this makes the entire process for processing 126 samples come down to four to five hours. Very interesting. Right, and it works. Yeah. And, you know, Kirsten said she got the blank assignment today. <laughs> <laughs> but really important because it allows the kids, it's called passive mm -hmm. testing surveillance, allows the kids to focus on their studies, do what they need to do, and then, you know, only if there's an issue detected do they have to do that testing. Right. The vending machine. Anything to fight the virus. Right. Anything. All right.